Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Silver and Sidel here. Um, you know, one of the things that we discussed the other night on my show, Talk and Sip, is about who speak up for Jamaicans and Jamaicans in the diaspora. From 2004, 2006, when a diaspora conference was created, there was always this talk about overseas voting, you know? Overseas voting. Can Jamaicans overseas vote? 2004, Delano Franklin, may God rest his soul, and I'm sure it would be great if that could be resolved in his honor. 2006, 2008, 2010, every time you have a diaspora conference, we are now 2023, and nothing has been done to come to a conclusion or a resolution as to it. It doesn't matter whether I want it or not, but it is something that needs to be addressed because it is a voice. Speaking up for Jamaicans in the diaspora, because many people are saying that we need a voice. We need to be able to vote, especially if we've got a, um, a dual citizenship. If we've got um, land and property down there, we need to vote. Those are some people saying it. Some people say we don't want it. But as far as I'm concerned, through the diaspora, and I've been talking about it, and they've been talking about it, and every time there's a new conference, it is like it is something fresh on the horizon, something fresh on the agenda. It needs to be resolved. And therefore, that is going to be something which is on my mandate as well to challenge the government and to challenge the authorities and to challenge the diaspora to say that we need to come to a resolution on that. There are too many things being kicking down the can. The can being kicking, kicking the can down the road, but we've got to come to it. Because I always use this example, a very simple one. What if a friend of yours is visiting you in the USA, visiting you in Canada, visit you in the UK for just three weeks or four weeks. And then lo and behold, the prime minister of Jamaica decided and say, we're going to have a snap election in three weeks time. We're going to have election. These persons really, really want to be a part of the, the, the electoral process. They're registered. They want to vote. Do they have to break their holidays and pay extra money to go to Jamaica to vote? No, at least those persons should be able to vote at the high commission. I mean, we are reached to a stage now. They should be just like with companies house in the UK. You got UTR code and all these different things where it can be verified. Come on, man. Come on. We're at a high level now. Let's take it to the high level. Let's resolve this as soon as possible. So we're going to keep that momentum on that. No more shall discussions and and um, having talk shows that just nice and talk. We've got to follow it through to an end. So I'm appealing to the government of Jamaica, appealing to the diaspora, appealing to the board and all those different persons, the high commission, get this back on the agenda and get it done as soon as possible. We're now in 2023 and it started from 2004, 2006. Thank you very much.